Hey, how's it going? This is Jack Oberkirsch with HomeMusicMaker.com, and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to fix latency in Reaper. So let's first touch base on what latency is. So digital audio latency is when we have um, a delay when working with digital audio, and we can have either input latency or output latency. Um, input latency would look something like, let's say you were trying to record through a microphone or you're trying to record um, a guitar through your audio interface, and um, there is a delay in between what you play or what you sing into the microphone and then what you hear back in your headphones. So that's an example of input digital um, latency. Um, talking about output latency, that would look something more like you press play in your DAW and um, what you're seeing is not lining up with what you're hearing. So I'm going to show you how to fix both of those things today. So let's just dive right in. So first and foremost, um, let's talk about audio drivers. If you're on a Mac like I am, you're pretty much using the internal audio driver that's built in with the computer. Um, same thing with if you're on a on a Windows machine, but if you're on Windows, I recommend that you upgrade your audio driver to this right here. Um, and this is, if you go to osseoforall.org, um, I recommend that you use the Osseo driver. It's a free download. You can find it in multiple languages here. Um, and although I'm using Mac now, I used to use PC, I used to use Windows, and um, the Osseo driver pretty much solved my problems immediately with digital, uh, digital audio latency. So that's the first thing I recommend that you try is trying to download Osseo, install that on your computer. Um, and you'll notice it's only for Windows, you can't download it for um, Mac. So, um, but with Mac, I haven't had any issues with the internal audio driver myself. All right, anyway, let's move on. Now that we've um, kind of touched base on that, that's the first thing to try to fix latency in Reaper if you're on a Windows machine is download Osseo, um, get a new audio driver. Um, it's totally free and I've used it many times and had no problems. Um, do download at your own risk because it's just a download link from the internet, but like I said, I think it's safe. I've used it many times. So let's go back to Reaper. Um, so let's touch base on fixing latency if, if you download Osseo and that's not doing the trick. Let's dive right in. All right, so first let's talk about fixing um, output latency. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. I have I don't have any output latency on my computer, but I've changed the settings in Reaper to simulate it. So take a look. Pay attention to how the um, how the cursor here is gonna line up with the grid lines uh, versus what you're hearing in uh, hearing back in your headphones or computer speakers, whatever. Check it out. So as you can see. Those guitar strums are happening after um, the cursor goes over, which is going to be super annoying if you're trying to work on a track if that's not lining up. Um, so I'm going to show you how to fix this. First thing to do, go to Options, down to Preferences, and we're going to go down to... Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. It's under Audio, Recording, right here, and then the bottom right corner. You'll notice right now the output manual offset is set to negative 500. That is because I was simulating output latency. Um, so it would, in your case, it would be at zero. And then what you would do is you would slowly <clears throat> correct this amount by, so let's say um, your outputs or your audio is coming in late versus what you're seeing. I would start by, you know, maybe start with five milliseconds, then take a listen, 10 milliseconds, then take a listen. 15, 20, so on and so forth. And then um, just keep changing the setting until your output latency is fixed. Um, and it's it takes a little bit of work. It's kind of annoying, but it's, it's, it's not too hard. Um, one way that I think is, uh, this is a good tip on how to do this. Change the tempo here in Reaper to something super, um, super slow. So that way it'll be very obvious when the, when the cursor is supposed to be, uh, you know, lining up with the grid lines with the metronome. But yeah, that's the way to fix output latency. Just slowly adjust this number here, um, adding milliseconds at a time until your audio and visual is lining up. So that's output latency. All right, cool. So next let's take a look at digital input latency. Um, from my experience, this one is a bit more common and what it looks like again is, let's say you were talking into a microphone or playing a guitar through your audio interface and there was a delay between what you play or sing versus what you hear back in your headphones. So that's input latency, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So I recorded this guitar part right here with, um, with some um, input latency. So these strums right here, uh, these four, should, should have been lining up here, 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 and here. 
But as you can see, because of the digital input latency, they're almost a full beat behind on every single, on every single measure. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this. Again, we're gonna to go to options, down to preferences, to audio, recording, boom. Bottom right, except this time we're gonna be going input, man, input manual offset instead of output uh, manual offset like last time. So what we're gonna do is, just the way we slowly adjusted our output manual offset is um, have your guitar plugged in or your microphone plugged in and offset it by 10 milliseconds, press apply, see if it sounds better. No? Okay, cool. Let's try 20 milliseconds. Oh, not 120. 20 milliseconds, apply, see how that latency is feeling, um, see if it's lining up, so on and so forth again until it's fixed. Um, it's kind of tedious, but as long as you just kind of pay attention and listen very carefully and just slowly adjust these numbers, um, fixing latency in Reaper is really not a problem. Cool. So just to do a quick recap, the first thing I recommend is installing the Osseo driver at osseoforall.org. Um, if you're on a Windows machine, if you're on a Mac, you can't really use that. So um, I would just go with the internal audio driver. That's the first step. And if you're still having issues, um, you're going to want to go to options, preferences, audio recording. And if you have an output manual offset or output um, latency, set it here, input latency, change it here. Um, just slowly and pay attention and you'll be good to go. But yeah, thanks for tuning in today. Um, again, this was how to fix latency in Reaper. I'm Jack Oberkirsch with homemusicmaker.com. Oh, and don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe because we got some more awesome tutorials coming your way. Um, plenty of information that you don't want to miss out on. So yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Tune in next time. Um, you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.